This presentation will discuss general care requirements and descriptions of 15 vines commonly found in Central Florida. Vines are known to spread over or up an area and usually need support for growth. It is common to find vines growing on trellises, pergolas, walls, trees, espaliers, and other support systems. They are useful for shade, to camouflage or hide structures or buildings, and have attractive flowers or abundant foliage. Most vines tend to grow quickly during the growth season and aren't particular about pH or low moisture when established. Although they appreciate support, vines can be grown freestanding. Plan accordingly for their fast growth by providing adequate space. Prior to planting in the ground or in a new pot, dig the hole at the same depth as the container, but a little wider. Make sure the root ball is slightly loosened and at the same level as the soil surface. A small berm might be helpful or use two to three inches of mulch to help with water retention and slowly enhance the soil as it breaks down. Vines are mostly drought tolerant when established. Use drip irrigation or hand water to account for changes in growth stage and seasonal or daily weather changes that can cause moisture loss. They can be lightly fed to encourage new growth in flowers. Compost and slow release fertilizers are ideal to provide a steady continuous stream of nutrients and to minimize labor. Foliar sprays and micronutrients are also recommended when plants exhibit signs of deficiency. Do not move mulch to fertilize nor place fertilizer on stems. Scout vines periodically and especially during the establishment period. Prune and deadhead in spring to remove cold damage or routinely to direct and control growth. Aphids, caterpillars, grasshoppers, mealybugs, scale and fungus are sometimes present. However, most insects and diseases can either be hand removed or treated with Bacillus thuringiensis, copper, a properly labeled synthetic product, or natural oil or soap sprays. Follow all label instructions. Control major infestations by removing infected growth. Cultivars and rootstocks with nematode resistance should be selected. Fertilize, irrigate, and prune effectively to decrease the likelihood of pest and disease issues. Refresh mulch routinely. Algerian ivy's genus name Hedera is the classical Latin name for ivy, and the species name means from Canary Islands. Algerian ivy is also called canary ivy because it is from Canary Islands. It is in the Araliaceae family, which includes ginseng and English ivy, and prefers full sun to part shade in zones 9 and 10. Algerian ivy is a dicot that grows up to 6 feet long. New growth has red stems and simple, alternate, thick lobed and leathery leaves. Algerian ivy has fast growth and poisonous fruit. It is susceptible to scale and city mold and prefers well-drained soil. Algerian ivy will grow under trees and in very shady areas and is used as a ground cover and climbing accent. It is grown from cuttings. Alamanda is named after Frederick Alamand, an 18th century Swiss botanist. It is in the Apocynaceae family. Other Apocynaceae family members include Confederate jasmine, Asiatic jasmine, desert rose, plumeria, carissa, frangipani, and more. Alamanda is sometimes considered invasive and grows very quickly in zones 9 to 11. It is a dicot with evergreen, simple, opposite, or world foliage and yellow, funnel-shaped spring to fall blooms. Plants grow up to 20 feet in full sun to full shade. Alamanda prefers part shade but flowers more in full sun. The sap is toxic and alamanda plants have no tendrils. It is susceptible to caterpillars, mites, and nutrient deficiencies. Plants appreciate micronutrients and slow-release fertilizer or compost. Alamanda should be pruned in spring to remove cold damage or routinely to the desired shape. It is not drought tolerant and should be watered during dry periods. It is grown from cuttings or division as a climbing accent for cut flowers as a small shrub or specimen, there are various flower colors. Bleeding heart is sometimes called glory bower or bleeding glory bower. The genus name Clerodendrum is derived from the Greek words kleros meaning chance and dendron meaning tree. This refers to medicinal qualities of the plant. It is a member of the Lamiaceae family which includes chaste tree, salvia, rosemary, basil, and other culinary herbs. 
Bleeding Heart prefers zones 9 to 11 and grows up to 15 feet with evergreen, dark, simple opposite leaves. Bleeding Heart has red and white summer blooms. It prefers part sun and is susceptible to nematodes and mites. Plants can be pruned to shrub shape and are grown from cuttings and seeds for cut flowers and containers, as a shrub indoors, and as the vining accent or specimen. The genus Bougainvillea is named after Louis Anthony de Bougainville, an explorer and scientist. It is related to four o'clock. They are both in the Nyctagonaceae family. Bougainvillea has fast growth up to 40 feet in zones 9 to 11 with evergreen, simple, alternate foliage and various color flower bracts spring through fall. It prefers well-drained soil and will not flower if overwatered. Beware, Bougainvillea has large, woody, very thorny spines. Plants are drought tolerant and somewhat cold hardy, especially purple Bougainvillea. It will regrow from the ground after a freeze and appreciates fertilizer. Bougainvillea has no tendrils and should be pruned in September. Plants are susceptible to moths and grown from hardwood cuttings as a hedge, climbing accent, specimen, and in containers. Cape Honeysuckle is a member of the Big Noniaceae family, which includes paint and trumpet, jacaranda, trumpet creeper, and other ornamentals. The genus name, Tucumaria, is derived from the Mexican name, and the species name means from Cape of Good Hope. It has evergreen, papery, pinnately compound leaves, and orange-red funnel-shaped blooms spring through winter. Cape Honeysuckle prefers full sun and part shade in zones 9 to 11. It blooms best in full sun and is up to 20 feet but usually fewer than 12 feet. Plants are heat, wind, and salt tolerant with no tendrils. Plants should be pruned to train and are grown from layers, cuttings, and seeds to attract birds as a shrub, hedge, vining accent, or specimen. Cape honeysuckle prefers well-drained soil and is susceptible to scale, mites, nematodes, and root rot. Yellow flowered and dwarf varieties are available. Carolina jessamine is also called yellow jessamine. The genus name Gelsimium is derived from the Italian word for jasmine, and the species name Simperverens means evergreen. It is a member of the Gelsimiaceae family with evergreen opposite land-shaped leaves and yellow funnel-shaped winter through spring flower blooms. Yellow jessamine does best in zones 7 to 10 and is a Florida native. Plants can be up to 20 feet long. Growth is fast when established. Carolina jessamine prefers full sun to part shade and has more flowers in full sun. All parts are poisonous and it should be watered to establish and during an extreme drought. Yellow jessamine can be pruned every few years to shape and refresh. Plants are used to attract birds as a hedge, vining accent, and rarely as a ground cover. Clematis is related to buttercup flowers. Both are members of the Ranunculaceae family. The genus name Clematis is derived from a Greek word meaning climbing plant. It blooms summer and fall and has deciduous, simple, opposite leaves. Plants thrive in zones 8 and 9, moist soil, and full sun. Clematis is not drought tolerant. Plants have no tendrils and are related to invasive Clematis species. Clematis is susceptible to caterpillars and snails and appreciates fertilizer for more flowers. Many colors are available and it is grown from cuttings as a vining accent and in containers. The genus name Trachylospermum is derived from the Greek words trachylos, which means neck, and sperma, which means seed. The species name Jasminoides means jasmine-like. Asiatic jasmine is sometimes called small-leaf confederate jasmine, although the related species Trachylosporum jasminoides is true confederate jasmine with showy fragrant flowers, larger leaves, and is better suited for fences and climbing. Other Apocynaceae family members include Alamanda, Desert Rose, Plumeria, Carissa, Frangipani, and more. Leaves are simple, thick, shiny opposite, and up to four inches long. Confederate jasmine is a fast-growing dicot up to 60 feet long in zones 8 to 10. Confederate jasmine is susceptible to scale and city mold. Grow plants from cuttings and irrigate to establish. Confederate jasmine prefers fertile soil and full sun to full shade, but does best in part shade. 
They are grown primarily for the aroma of the star-shaped fragrant flowers as a ground cover, climbing accent, and beds or as cut flowers. Plants are only moderately suited as a ground cover and do not tolerate foot traffic. Variegated foliage is available. Coral honeysuckle is related to elderberry, sweet viburnum, Japanese honeysuckle, and other plants in the Caprifoliaceae family. Sometimes it is simply called honeysuckle. The genus Lonicera is named after Adam Lonicer, a German naturalist. The species name Sempervirens means evergreen. Coral honeysuckle does best in areas with a little seasonal chill, as provided in zones 5 to 9. It is a Florida native up to 15 feet with blue-green opposite oblong leaves and narrow funnel-shaped coral-colored blooms in spring and summer. Coral honeysuckle has fast growth and can be pruned every few years in spring to refresh growth. It prefers full sun to part shade and appreciates fertile, well-drained soil. Coral honeysuckle should be irrigated to establish and plants are drought tolerant but will grow more when irrigated. Coral honeysuckle has no tendrils and is grown from cuttings to attract butterflies and birds and as a climbing accent. Yellow and red blooms are available. Coral honeysuckle is grown from cuttings that root easily. Dutchman's pipe is sometimes called pipe vine. The family Aristolochiaceae is comprised of only pipe vines. The genus name Arist Aristolochia is derived from Greek words aristos meaning best and lochia meaning childbirth, referring to its ancient medicinal use. Dutchman's pipe is best suited for zones 9 and 10 and has dark, evergreen, heart-shaped leaves. Plants grow up to 15 feet long. Dutchman's pipe has summer through winter blooms and some species are Florida native. It does best in part to full shade and is a larval food source for several swallowtail butterflies. Dutchman's pipe is grown from cuttings or seeds to attract butterflies and as a climbing accent or specimen. Ornamental sweet potato is the same species as true sweet potato, but is grown primarily for foliage and only produces low quality edible underground tubers. It is a member of the Convolviaceae family, which is related to morning glory. Ornamental sweet potato has evergreen lobed thin foliage and does best in full sun to part shade in zones 9 to 11. It has very fast growth up to 15 feet. Ornamental sweet potato prefers well-drained soil and is drought tolerant. It has no tendrils. Beetles and caterpillars might be an issue. There are several foliage colors. Ornamental sweet potato is grown from cuttings as a ground cover in containers and for xeriscapes. Painted trumpet is also called Argentine trumpet or violet trumpet. Sometimes it is labeled Bignonia violaceae. It is a member of the Bignoniaceae family and is related to trumpet creeper, jacaranda, cape honeysuckle, and other ornamentals. Painted trumpet does best in well-drained soil in zones 8 to 11. It has evergreen opposite leaves and lavender and purple funnel-shaped blooms from spring to summer. Growth is fast and even faster with more moisture. Painted trumpet is up to 30 feet long. Painted trumpet is not drought tolerant and prefers fertile soil and full sun to part shade. Plants have tendrils and can be susceptible to scale and mites. It is grown from cuttings and ground layerings as a climbing accent. Painted trumpet is known to have large prickly seed pods. Passion vine is also called maypop or passion fruit. It is a member of the Passifloraceae family, which includes several species of passion vine. There are five Florida native species, however, certain other species are considered invasive. It does best in full sun to part shade in zones 8 to 11. Passion vine will produce summer, fall, summer through fall flowers with more flowers in full sun. Plants are drought tolerant and have fast growth up to 30 feet long. Leaves are evergreen, lobed, and alternate. Passion vine has tendrils and is susceptible to nematodes and caterpillars. It is the larval food source for several butterflies. There are various flower colors. Passion vine is grown from seed and cuttings for aroma to attract birds and butterflies as a climbing accent for edible fruit and for medicinal value. Trumpet creeper is also called trumpet vine. 
It is a member of the Bignoniaceae family and is related to painted trumpet, jacaranda, cape honeysuckle, and other ornamentals. The genus name Campsus is Greek for curved, and the species name Radicans means with rooting stems. Its genus name refers to curved stamens. Trumpet vine does best in full sun to part shade in zones 4 to 10. Trumpet creeper is a Florida native but sometimes considered invasive. Plants have pinnately compound, oppositely arranged evergreen foliage and orange, trumpet-shaped summer flowers. It has fast growth up to 40 feet. Trumpet creeper has no tendrils and should be irrigated to establish. It appreciates well-drained, fertile, moist soil and is drought tolerant. Trumpet creeper is grown from ground layers and seeds to attract butterflies and birds and as a vining accent. A few colors and forms are available. Wisteria is sometimes called Chinese wisteria. It is a Florida native that thrives in zones 5 to 9 in full sun to part shade. Growth is fast and up to 20 feet long. Some parts are poisonous. Wisteria has deciduous, pinnately compound leaves somewhat pink new growth, and spring through summer clustered lavender flowers that are occasionally fragrant. It prefers well-drained, fertile soil and should be irrigated to establish. Wisteria is drought tolerant and susceptible to mites and thrips. It can be used as a climbing accent or specimen. White blooms are available. This concludes the Vines of Central Florida presentation.